Hi, all my Stewartsboro friends. I hope that you guys had a great week this week. It is finally Friday. Even in our social distancing and staying at home, Friday still feels really good. Um, I have a new story for you guys today. It is one of my all-time favorite stories ever. So I hope that you guys really like it. And of course, I'm going to ask you to pause the video along the way and talk to someone um, to answer my questions. And then I'm also going to challenge you at the end to do a little bit of writing. But you guys got this. You guys are great. Here we go. So today I'm going to read to you my favorite story titled The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. So this book was written um, by Dawn and Audrey Wood. So really fast pause, turn to your stuffed animal or your sibling or whoever's with you and just real quick tell them, what does the author do? That's right. The author writes the book. And then this book was illustrated by Don Wood. Wait a second. He was also the author. He double dipped. He had two jobs. Not only did he write the book, but as the illustrator, what did he do? He drew the pictures. That's right. So looking at the cover page of this story, turn, talk to your parent or your stuffed animal, whoever's around, pause me, turn, talk to them. What do you notice on this cover page? What do you see? And what do you think this book is going to be about? Okay, well, the only way to figure out what it's about is to read it. Here we go. We open up our book to the first part, the title page, titled The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? What do you see on this page? Pause me, turn and talk to somebody. What do you see? What do you notice? Here we go. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Ooh, what does ripe mean? We've talked about that before from a different story. What does ripe mean? It means it's ready to pick. It's nice and good. Do you think this mouse is going to pick it? Let's see. But, little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. They're fixing to be a problem in this story. Try and talk to somebody. What do you think the problem's going to be? Here we go. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that's just been picked. Uh oh, does he have a problem? Let's see what happens. Boom, boom, boom! The bear will tromp through the forest on his big, hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden. Or who is guarding it. Pause me really fast. What have you seen going on in this story so far? What's the mouse trying to do? Okay, here we go. 
or how it is disguised. What does disguised mean? How do you know? Turn talk. Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Is he fixing to solve his problem? We call that the solution. Here we go. Let's see how he solves it. Hmm. Pause me. Talk to somebody. How's he solving his problem? What do you notice on this page? Okay, it says, cut the strawberry in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now that's one red, ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. So I want you to pause me and I want you to turn and tell your stuffed animal or your adult or your sibling, anybody that's around you, what happened in that story? Where was he at? Remember, we call that the setting. Who was the character? And what was his problem and how did he solve it? Then I'm going to challenge you. Take what you tell your stuffed animal or your grown up or your sibling. Take what you tell them and go turn it into sentences. Now today, instead of writing the problem and solution, you're still going to write it but you're gonna write it by retelling the story. So make sure when we retell a story, we want to use those words first, next, then, and last. If we do that, you're gonna get four sentences out of this. You can do this, you've got this. Remember parents, we're not worried about their spelling. Um, we're just making sure that those sentences begin with a capital letter. We're making sure they have spacemen, is what we call them, spacing between the words, and that they're just trying their best to sound out each word um, to get their thoughts onto paper. So friends, um, once you have written your first, next, then, and last, I want you to draw a picture to go along with it and then send that picture over to your teacher on Dojo. We cannot wait to see all the amazing sentences and illustrations that you guys create. Have fun and happy Friday.